Magic of Math here, and today we're going to be using substitution so that we can check different solutions that we have been given to determine which value of y makes this equation true. Here is our question for today. We are asked what is the value of y in this equation? 6 multiplied by y subtract 18 equals 42, and we're given four solutions to pick from. So here's where you're going to pause the video, determine which of these four solutions represents the value of y in the equation, and then come back and hit play to see my work. Good luck. Welcome back. We're going to begin with looking at that we understand we're finding the value of y in this equation. So y here in the equation, and we're going to use these answers to determine which one is the correct value. So I'm going to start with a we're given the value zero. So let's come over to our workspace and choice A, we're gonna take our equation and we're going to replace Y with zero. And this six Y has an invisible multiplication sign between the six and the Y. This is six multiplied by Y. Six multiplied by zero is zero. So we're left with negative 18 equals 42, which is incorrect. Those are not equivalent values. So therefore, answer choice A can be eliminated. Now let's try answer choice B, which is four. So we're gonna come over to our workspace, and for B, we're gonna rewrite our equation replacing Y with four. Six multiplied by four is 24. 24 subtract 18 is six. Six does not equal 42, so B cannot be the value of Y in this equation. All right, let's try C. Answer C gives us a value for Y of 10. So over here in our workspace, here's C. We're gonna write our equation, six multiplied by 10, subtract 18 needs to equal 42, if it's answer choice C. Six multiplied by 10 is 60. 60 subtract 18 is 42, it checks. So I come up with the value of Y for this equation, is y equals 10. Now let's consider choice D. If I showed this work, it would be six multiplied by 12, which is greater than 60, which would give me a difference greater than 42. So it would not be equivalent. So therefore we can also rule out answer choice D. So answer choice C, 10, is the correct value of y in this equation. And that's how you use substitution to check for a value of a variable in an equation. Thanks for joining me today at The Magic of Math, where we continue to master math one video at a time. I hope you'll have a great day and come back soon.